Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do the, the equations of a tan graph. Now with a tan graph we don't have an amplitude. So the standard point you're going to learn for to consider an amplitude is going to be in grade 10 because remember this rule was slightly changed in grade 11 is your 45 degree mark okay so we're going to take the 45 degree marks now when I'm talking of 45 degree marks I mean you'll take the highest 45 and the lowest 45 in multiples of 45 so if I'm talking of multiples of 45 all these are multiples of 45 the highest one we have is here and the lowest one would be here so if you know your standard graphs you should know that when we were working the relevant points were 45 45 was the highest and 135 was the lowest another high was 225 and another low was 315 so when we're looking for the a in our tan graph we're going to look at those 45 degree marks for grade 10 it's consistent on 45, 135, 225, and 315. But this will change in grade 11. So don't get too comfortable with those degrees. Now, the highest was 2. So we're going to say highest minus the lowest divided by 2. In this case, we have 2 plus 2, which is 4, divided by 2, which is equal to 2. So our A is 2. Remember, it works the same. If it's a standard form graph, then it is a positive A. But if your graph is upside down, then it's going to be a negative. Okay? So in this case, we can clearly see that it's a standard graph. So we have y is equal to 2 tan theta plus q. The next thing that is relevant is the starting points. Now the starting points of a tan graph is 0, 0. If you look, it is starting at 0, 0, so which means our Q is 0. Our final equation is Y is equal to 2 tan theta plus 0. Let's take the following example. Again, we're looking at the 45 degree marks. Here's a high of a 45 and here's a low of a 45. So we have the highest is 2, the lowest is minus 2. So we have that we are having our so-called A is equal to 2. But notice the graph is upside down. When I have Y is equal to A tan theta plus Q. It is starting at 2 but it is upside down. So that makes it minus 2. Then we have tan theta plus Q. Now the starting point of a tan graph is 0, 0. In this case, it's still 0, 0, which means that my graph did not go up or down. So our final equation is minus 2 tan theta. Thank you for watching.